Chapter 13, Theology in the Life of the Pastor Theology isn't just an academic discipline, it's the very lifeblood of pastoral ministry. It shapes how pastors understand God, interpret scripture, and guide their congregations. The integration of theology into every aspect of pastoral life, the pulpit, the counseling room, and even the pastor's personal devotion is critical for a ministry that's both deep and wide. Scripture asserts, all scripture is given by inspiration of God, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, 2 Tim. 3.16, this mandate places theology at the heart of pastoral care, instructing that the teachings of the Bible are not just to be studied but lived out daily. When navigating the challenges of pastoral ministry, such as dealing with conflict or offering compassionate counseling, theology provides the anchor and compass. It equips pastors with the wisdom to offer advice that's not just practical but also spiritual, rooted in the deep truths of Scripture. Hence, theology becomes not merely a set of academic principles but a dynamic force that informs and transforms pastoral ministry. Through engaging with theology, pastors can fulfill their role in teaching sound doctrine, as Paul advised Timothy, to preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long-suffering and doctrine, to Tim. For Colin too, embracing theology in its fullness allows pastors to more effectively shepherd their flock, providing guidance that is both biblically sound and relevant to the complexities of modern life. Therefore, the integration of theology into the life of a pastor is indispensable. It's not just about intellectual understanding but about embodying and modeling theological truths in daily life. This commitment to living out theology in every aspect of pastoral ministry ensures that the church is led by example, fostering a community deeply rooted in biblical truth. In doing so, pastors not only teach their congregations about God but show them, through their lives, the transformative power of divine truth. Applying Theology in Pastoral Care in the fabric of pastoral ministry, weaving sound theology into the practice of pastoral care stands paramount. The scriptural admonition, bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ, Gal. 6-2, underscores the necessity for pastors to apply their theological understanding in a manner that is both compassionate and pragmatic when addressing the needs of their flock. It's here, in the trenches of human struggle and joy, that theology transcends theoretical discourse and becomes a lived experience. This application of theology requires pastors to not only be well-versed in scriptural knowledge but also skilled in relating these eternal truths to the everyday realities of those they are called to serve. As shepherds after God's own heart, pastors must demonstrate a Christ-like empathy, exhibiting a ministry that's as much about walking alongside individuals in their moment of need as it is about imparting biblical wisdom. For indeed, theology is most impactful, not when it's expounded from the pulpit in grandiose fashion, but when it's applied through acts of kindness, listening ears, and timely words that act as balm to weary souls. This practical living out of theological principles encourages a deeper, transformative engagement with faith, fostering an environment where both pastor and congregation grow together in understanding and living the gospel. The pastor's role in teaching sound doctrine in the journey of pastoral ministry, one of the fundamental responsibilities entrusted to pastors is the teaching of sound doctrine. This duty is not merely an academic endeavor but is central to the spiritual health and growth of the congregation. Sound doctrine shapes faith, guides daily living, and safeguards the church against the winds of false teaching that can lead to spiritual shipwreck. Teaching sound doctrine begins with the pastor's commitment to studying scripture. The Apostle Paul, in his second letter to Timothy, emphasized the importance of this commitment, Study to shew thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, 2 Tim. 2.15, this directive underscores the importance of diligent study and correct interpretation of the Bible, which forms the basis of all doctrinal teaching. The responsibility to feed the flock with the truth of God's word is beautifully illustrated in the pastoral imagery found in Scripture. Peter was commissioned by Christ with the words, Feed my lambs. Feed my sheep. John 21 verses 15-17, highlighting the role of the pastor as a spiritual feeder who nourishes the congregants with the truths of Scripture. Moreover, the pastor's role in teaching sound doctrine is essential for equipping the saints. Paul writes, And he gave some, apostles, and some, prophets, and some, evangelists, and some, pastors and teachers, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, f. For colon 11-12, 
This passage indicates that the teaching ministry helps develop spiritual maturity within the congregation, enabling every believer to contribute to the growth and health of the church body. Sound doctrine also plays a crucial role in shaping the worship life of the congregation. True worship is grounded in the truth about God as revealed in Scripture. Jesus pointed out that true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth, John 4 verse 23. The pastor, by teaching sound doctrine, ensures that the worship of the church is rooted in an appropriate understanding of who God is and in response to that understanding. Cultivating discernment within the church is another reason why teaching sound doctrine is vital. There are manifold teachings in the world today that can easily lead believers astray. The Apostle Paul warned the Colossian church about being deceived by persuasive words and empty philosophies that do not align with Christ's teachings, Colonel. 2 4 8, a pastor, through consistent teaching of sound doctrine, fortifies the congregation against such deceptions, fostering a discerning community that can distinguish truth from error. Teaching sound doctrine also involves addressing contemporary issues from a biblical perspective. The dynamic nature of culture means that new ethical, social, and moral issues constantly emerge. The pastor must engage these matters with biblical fidelity, helping the congregation navigate modern challenges in a manner that is consistent with Scripture. This duty similarly extends to the public defense of the faith. Jude 1 verse 3 exhorts believers to earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. Pastors, as stewards of biblical truth, must be prepared to defend sound doctrine against challenges and to correct misunderstandings publicly when necessary. Effective teaching of sound doctrine, furthermore, promotes unity within the church. Paul's letter to the Ephesians highlights the importance of maintaining the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace, f. For colon 3, unity is cultivated as the congregation grows in the knowledge of the Son of God, maturing into a body that upholds doctrinal truth and love. The importance of a life that models sound doctrine cannot be overstated. A pastor's life serves as a living epistle, read by all, 2 Cor. 3 colon 2 3, thus, the teaching of sound doctrine is both verbal and nonverbal, encompassing the pastor's words, actions, and character. Furthermore, pastors must also identify and mentor others within the church who have the gift of teaching. Paul's instruction to Timothy regarding entrusting the teaching to faithful men who will be able to teach others also, 2 Tim. 2-2, underscores the importance of multiplying the teaching ministry within the church. Patience and endurance are required in the teaching of sound doctrine. It is a process that involves not only imparting knowledge but also walking alongside believers as they grow in understanding and application. Like farming, the fruits of teaching sound doctrine often take time to surface. The joy of seeing growth and understanding among the congregation is unparalleled. It is a rich reward for the pastor who diligently teaches sound doctrine. John expressed this sentiment when he said, I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth, 3 John 1 verse 4. In conclusion, the pastor's role in teaching sound doctrine is multifaceted, extending from the pulpit to daily interactions, from counseling sessions to community engagement. It is a high calling that requires dedication, humility, and a relentless pursuit of truth. As pastors commit to this endeavor, they lay a firm foundation for the spiritual health and maturity of the congregation, ensuring that the church stands strong in the face of cultural shifts and doctrinal challenges. In sum, teaching sound doctrine is not just a task, it embodies the pastor's heart for God's truth and his people, reflecting a shepherd's care that nurtures, protects, and guides the flock toward spiritual maturity and godly living.